farm up here. It's quite a big farm. But this is it. This, a lot of this area is just for them to spawn. Hello Enderman, you're very angry. Um, it's a big platform for them to spawn. Because I'm up here, the spawn rates are a bit lower. And because there is a ton down there, um, spawn rates are a bit lower. Which of course you have a lot of entities and it'll only ever spawn in so many. Whereas it gets laggy. Um, but the thing that really does this farm is just right over here. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is an endermite. Now, in creative, there is an egg for endermites. But if you are trying to do this in creative, do not use that. But they all just go to it. But do not use an egg in creative, an endermite egg. It will not work. Endermen do not care if it's an egg. If you spawn over an egg, they do not care whatsoever. And so, yeah, so, yeah, they won't care whatsoever. And so, what you need to do is you then need to, uh, you need to you explore it with ender pole. And the way you do that is, I'll just quickly show you here. I will kill it off eventually. Um, we'll just have to kill it off after this. But, let me get this stone axe. That's what I'm doing here. It's crazy good fast. People think it's a diamond axe, for sure. And um, you do that, we will want a minecart and some traps. Yeah. And uh, if we get all, if we get an egg, right? Uh, where is it? Where's the endermite? This is basically the hard bit of the, of the build. Endermite, can we? Where are you? Uh, where is it? I, I swear, I always lose these. Um, right, let's see how this looks. 
and the mite. There you go. Right, so if I spawn it in, yeah, next these two Endermen, but they do not care whatsoever. So that doesn't work, I should say. Yeah, they just don't care. They, they, they can direct and see it, but they just don't care about it. But if we go and get some Ender Poles, which are here, right? Now you do sometimes have to uh, um, do it a lot, but what I do is because we have this roof on, just because the enderman right, is killed the other night, what, what I do is I make it look scarier here, just like this. So very simple area. Now you can't do all of this in survival, it is completely survival friendly. Now this isn't my design, but uh, what I do is... Uh, I will just put a fence there just for now. And what you do is you get your ender poles and you just start throwing them. Um, it will take you quite a few ender poles to spawn an ender mite. You might just get lucky because so I believe there's like a 5% chance. At least that's what I've heard. So you need to sort of throw your ender poles. Well, it seems like we're getting quite unlucky here. Um, of course you don't want it every time, so that's why I do it like that. Um, but just keep on throwing your ender poles. It will eventually spawn. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Now the ender will go crazy after it. Now what you want to do is you want to get a name tag. Um, by the way. All tags are here, oh my. Can I actually name a name tag? No, I can't. Right, if we just get an anvil. Where is it? Here we go. Long, thank you. Right. Now, I often call it, like, something like, bait. You can call it whatever you want. Um, because it is bait for the... It, this one will work without him. So now what I do, I move tag him. Just so he doesn't die. He needs to spawn him. Now I just push the minecart over him. On. You actually push it over like that, and as you see, we have a we have him in there. Now you just want to get him into this area and surround him with half slabs. And that is the way you get your endermite. Now it's just going to kill him off real quick because uh, otherwise it's going to ruin the whole farm, isn't it? Um, but that is pretty much how you do it. That's how you make it. Pretty simple, as I say. Um, that is the hardest part. Um, you want to make this platform above, um, just so the enemy can't kill it. So that is what the enemy will want to do. They want to kill it. That's why they go directly for it. And so yeah, but the circle, the circle width. So you want to go out. I believe it's like thirty-one blocks or something. Yeah from the middle, so you make drop shoot, and this is the middle, exact middle, you'll go out 31, yeah, in all directions, and then you go 5, so you don't, not including that, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, and that's, you basically repeat this on all four sides, and that is basically the way you do it. And so that's that, they're the hard bits, and then for this, you just do a 9x9, nine nine, yeah? 9x9, nine nine, and you just get rid of these blocks here. Now, you do want half slabs on the top, just so endermen don't spawn, because that will lower the rates, of course. And so, you want to do some blocks here, yeah? And you want to, oh, I don't want to fall down there, and you want to place um, a trapdoor here, and do it like that, and you can get rid of a block here. Now, what this trapdoor will do, is Minecraft registers that as a block so the, the enemy can walk over it. So we are tricking the enemy and thinking, okay, I'm just walking over here. And because they can't go anywhere else, they have to go over here and they'll go, okay, there's a block here, and they just fall. And then this needs to be 43 blocks from the bottom. So right down there, from the bottom, what they land on, it's 43 blocks up. That is so, they go down to half a heart or something, so it just is a one hit kill. 
and so there you go, it's quite, that's pretty much the farm, if you just go down there again. Now you don't want to use something like a stone axe, I know it is the best weapon in the game, uh, but you don't want to use it. Now, here I put some hoppers here, now I would ideally, um, in here, I would ideally um, put some carpets over, just so it looks nicer, but... Like, I'd already got the farm in, I put the carpets on it, it was a nightmare, and I couldn't get them all on, so, yeah. Uh, but then, once it comes down here, along this hop line, and then, just a small little item elevator, it, that's on my channel, um, goes up here, and then just a little bulk storage system right there. And if you are in 1.11, yeah, this should work in 1.11, but, um, what you can do is you use shulker blocks boxes instead if you have loads um but yeah that's pretty much the farm you, you know let's just go over it again i use diamond swords but it's like they're the most durable i mean look at that look at that like diamond swords don't necessarily do more but that's why it's good that they, they all squash up together because you can really take advantage of the uh It gets me on one more XP. You come out here. Bam. 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 This is like a train, you see, because it sort of like goes in a loop. As you can see, I've got tons of XP. And if I do have a lot of XP and I start lagging, I just stop. Um, yeah. But the function is, gentlemen, that is all we have time for to say in this video. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, maybe even subscribe, and I shall see you all later. Bye!